Hey guys, welcome to the final match of Group A between Mihalic and Grast to see who the second individual to advance to the round of eight is. Mihalic starting in the upper end corner as the very fetching gentle pink for Terran. Gentle pink? Is that even a color? I don't know. Bottom right hand corner, we have Grast. It's still, this is the thing with this beta artwork. So if you pre ordered, I believe they give you the shiny Nexus, but it makes all Protoss look blue. Maybe that's intentional. You can kind of see the orange underneath, but it just makes me want to say the blue Protoss just generally. Anyway, orange, this is going to be on Tau Cross, which again has a lack of a ramp. It's kind of interesting. I feel like early Zealot pressure plays well for Protoss here, but counter Vulture pressure plays really well for Terran. So I feel like two factory openings can be very strong, and I feel like two gate openings can also be very strong. And it kind of, you can just see the wild swings that happen in between. But otherwise, if you do go for like a front door blockade or play a little bit slower, um, this can be a very, very strong map for Terran in particular, just because I'm going to go ahead and do map reveal. Just feel like ranting it because in the mid game, you have these ramps and these kind of blockaded areas. And with these ramps, that just makes units clumping siege tank bait, in my opinion. And you just, I've seen many, many fights on Tau Cross where you just see pile. I don't know why Tau Cross is when, uh, I'm not sure what this is, but a lot of people when they're running tournaments, just period, just any StarCraft tournament, they like throwing Tau Cross in there. Not just CPL or whatever, but like live LAN events. It's just a very popular, maybe this is just me dating myself and the tournaments that ended up being run in the 2010-ish era. Boomer. Boomer caster. But anyway, everything's boomer that's old these days. We are seeing a one gate into a simulator opening and Grast is scouting the upper left-hand corner. Initially, we do see the refinery being placed down, the barracks to the lower corner to go ahead. If zealot pressure was coming, you'd be able to sneak it between those two buildings and the zealots would have trouble sneaking their way through. Assimilator is up. We'll see if we see a cybernetics core to follow. There is a cybernetics core rather than going for any sort of risky early nexus <clears throat> or anything those along those lines. You usually see that on 12. And we see Mihalic building, so a little bit concerned, <clears throat> He's building a supply depot kind of at the forward corner where he eventually could turn this into kind of a blockade, but at the very least, what it'll do is give him, give him some surface area to work with to kind of press at least initial zealots off. He does have three SCV in gas here initially, so he's not doing the one SCV thing. Uh, we'll see if he just stops once he hits one or pulls two off once he hits the 100 gas. <clears throat> looks in, like he did opt to do so. It looks like he is going to go one factory into command center once again. Probe making its way. Sees the bunker being placed, sees the initial marine pushing him off. That gives him a pretty strong indicator. <clears throat> Theoretically, usually when you see this, that first of all, any sort of rush would be somewhat delayed because of the bunker. But this is a very, this <clears throat> excuse me, throat having trouble here. This points everything towards the fact that it's going to be one factory into expand. And we'll see if Grast opts to go for an expansion himself, if he opts to plop down gateways, or if he's going to go early robo. Initial Dragoon coming out as the SCV is making it into Grass base. Seeing all the scouting information, seeing the twirling cybernetic score. Is this a still single probe on gas? It looks like Grass wants to follow this. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but at the very least, this initial indication with the single probe on gas suggests that Grass wants to have a faster follow up nexus and has actually pulled probes off gas to go ahead and produce, continue to produce Dragoons but have a little bit more mineral supply to perhaps get a faster nexus out. And he actually, in showing this, has instead snuck two gateways here to the bottom right-hand corner. So he's actually, so he's showing Grast. You know what? I might be going for additional base. Probe might have had an opportunity to pick off that SCV. The SCV going ahead and backing off. We do see a command center being built outside Mihalich's natural expansion. The barracks is going to land here to create more of that initial seal. <clears throat> but now... We see additional probes back on gas, and this is going to be a three gateway build. And we'll see if this pays off. Range is working its way. Basically, the trick here is having that Dragoon range kick in, and this is going to be unfortunate for Mihalich because you can see he's not continuing to produce Marines. He does have a machine shop up. He has that siege tank building. He's going to need to be very, very careful because three gateways can produce a lot of Dragoons very, very rapidly. And if you lose that initial siege tank, and this is the other thing, is, is with the location of this barracks, it's going to be very difficult to get sufficient SCVs to repair it. You want one SCV per Dragoon that uh, hopping on top of that bunker to keep it repaired. And as soon as that range kicks in, which is now, he can go ahead and harass that. That's There's going to be no marine range. You can just take a step back 
Well, take another step back. Well, that's kind of interesting. I know he didn't get... There we go. Ranging it. There's that tank on that corner. But here's the thing. As the next round of Dragoons comes up and provides support with the six Dragoons... Well, it's going to be seven Dragoons up on that front. That siege tank is going to have its work cut out for it. SCVs probably should be pulled. Second siege tank is going to be out. Still no siege tech. Instead, we have an academy being plopped down. We have an armory being plopped down. This is dangerous territory for Mielich. Maybe he can defend this with a great SCV block, but right now I think everything very likely in Grast's favor. I think Grast... I like how he played this. I like how he played this. We'll see if he's able to pick off Siege Tanks, if he could even bait a Siege Tank out or not. Now we have, it looks like, seven Dragoons making their way up. They're just going to go ahead and walk in, pick off that first Siege Tank, and that second Siege Tank, oh, is even blocked off by the... So, honestly, the Dragoons can just back off. They don't need to be taking fire here, but they're going to just sit there and pound down that bunker. And a quick GG for me, all that's realizing he cannot defend it. Congratulations to, to Grass. Nice play. I like showing the probe to suggest that it's going to be a faster Nexus. And then the turn run with the additional... That's some good... It's the quality cheese. It's like the Gouda of cheese, right? It's like the mmm... Or the goat cheese of cheese. Uh, rather than just kind of, you know, your standard spray bottle cheddar sort of stuff. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Congratulations to get to Grast. He's going to move on to the round of eight. And I'm going to move on to group B. Thanks for listening.